we think this uh, shale gas technology boom will continue to have significant consequences for our economy. It's going to continue with the gas area, but it's also expanding into the oil arena. The same technology of horizontal drilling and hydraulic fracturing is being used to extract what's called light tight oil from very uh, difficult to access uh, shale uh, and, and tight rocks in the U.S. as well. And the combination of this oil boom along with the gas boom is transforming the energy landscape. Throughout my whole lifetime, we've considered that uh, we're going to be net importers of energy, net importers of oil in particular. And we now had, through these technologies, significant growth of light tight oil, 50% growth per year. And we can even envision a world where the U.S. could be net uh, uh, exporters of energy by 2020. A significant shift in the way we think about energy security and the way we think about the impact of uh, energy prices on our economy. The U.S. now has an abundant supply of natural gas, and this natural gas can be used in uh, energy feedstock intensive industries such as chemicals. We see ethylene production going up. We see polyvinyl chloride production going up. We see fertilizer production going up. The steel industry should also benefit by cheap supplies of natural gas. These aspects of the economy will create much needed manufacturing jobs to help that segment of the economy that is particularly hard hit by the economic recession. Fully capturing this opportunity will require an enormous capital investment. Some 1.4 trillion of capital investment will be required for infrastructure in order to put in place these new jobs. That this capital investment on its own will create a, a temporary set of jobs of some 1.6 million jobs just to build out the infrastructure required to put in place these new uh, manufacturing plants. This on its own will be an enormous surge to the economy, again, particularly in this time frame where we need these kinds of manufacturing uh, uh, oriented construction jobs uh, for, for our economy. The International Energy Agency now projects that the U.S. will become a larger producer of oil than Saudi Arabia. This is enormous transformation for the United States in the global oil markets. The United States in 2013 uh, imported less oil than any time since 1987. This will have a significant impact on the overall global oil balances given the reduced need of oil in the United States. However, there are risks associated with the production of shale oil and gas. In particular, there are several environmental risks that are causing lots of attention for both environmentalists and the industry. Many in the industry and environmentalists are very worried about water contamination. There are risks that in the process of drilling so many wells that it's possible that water could be contaminated during the drilling process. There are also risks that increased drilling could lead to increased quantities of methane leaking from the drilling, which could add to greenhouse gas emissions. Land use is also a big issue and concern for both environments and the industry. Large tracts of land will be needed just to home, house the, the trucks and other equipment required to drill all these wells. And these trucks create noise, they create smog, and the local communities will not always be excited by having all this equipment around, particularly in, when land is located in urban areas. This is a concern for both the industry and environmentalists. The good news is, is that with the environmentalists putting so much pressure on the industry, the industry is responding by exploring new techniques, new technologies that can enable them to reduce the overall environmental impact of horizontal drilling and hydraulic fracturing. These new technologies, if learnings are shared across industry, could lead to a continuous improvement that will reduce the overall uh, risk over time. And at the moment, with this intense scrutiny being placed on the industry, it's actually having a positive impact on improving the overall uh, efficiency of the industry and reducing risk. Bottom line, this is an exciting game changer for the U.S. economy. It can create jobs through investment in the energy sector itself and the ripple effects through the other parts of the economy. It will increase the overall GDP of the country which will increase the overall wealth and well-being of many of its citizens. And finally, it could help the mindset shift in terms of the overall energy security for the nation, which will give people more confidence that they can operate without fear of being insecure about its overall energy needs.